Hi folks, Mark here, Views from Mark. First off, as always, I hope wherever you are in the world that you're keeping safe, well, and that you're as happy as you can be during these continuing challenging times. Today's video is hopefully gonna be a brief one just to show you the contents of this bag with this uh, kind of cryptic looking logo on the front. Uh, it comes from a company here in the UK called Connolly. Now they're not a company that I heard of until very recently when I was watching a few other vlogs from some other YouTubers looking up some different items of clothing and looking up some uh, different information um, online. And I came across a vlog that detailed the contents of this bag or you know was, was just kind of explaining a bit behind it and I thought that looks really quite cool. I wouldn't mind going and trying, trying this on. And it is actually a jacket that Connolly produce. Um, it's featured and this is a screen accurate version. So this is the one that is worn in the film, the upcoming Bond film, No Time to Die, which unfortunately as we know now has been delayed yet again until at least April 2021. Hopefully there won't be any more delays, but we just have to wait and see how things go with the whole pandemic as we head through winter and head into spring next year. But hopefully, fingers crossed, there won't be any more delays. So as I say, they have at Connolly a jacket called the Gabino, um, which was produced in a limited edition run. Uh, they worked with some uh, manufacturers in Italy and wanted to produce kind of a classical looking, unique take on like a 50s bomber jacket. So. The jacket's made, it's 59% linen, 41% cotton, um, it's dry clean only, which is, which is fine. But I've seen some set photos and this appears to feature, this jacket appears to feature in the section of the film which is in Italy. And I believe it will feature before the car chase, which is something we've seen in all the trailers and promotional material. So. I saw this jacket, I saw a vlog about it, and I thought, oh, that looks really interesting. I wouldn't mind going and checking that out. So whilst I was recently down in London on a Sunday, um, I thought I'd, I'd swing by the store and, and have a look, see if they had any left for starters, and if they had any in my size, um, trying a, a couple of different sizes and see what, see what it was like. So unfortunately it was closed. The store was closed on Sunday. I probably should have looked that up first, but. I was down again in London a few days later because I had to pick something up um, and I thought I'll, I'll go in and I'll have a look. So I went along to Connolly, they're based just off of uh, Savile Row, which is famous as you may know for uh, kind of being the home of kind of bespoke and custom tailoring for suits and, and all sorts. Um, and I popped by the store and I was greeted by a lovely guy called Ivan. Hello to Ivan if you're watching. Um, who was fantastic and the customer service that I had uh, from Ivan, from his colleague um, and just from Connolly in general, it was, you know, it was, it was second to none. It was, it was very personal. He spent a lot of time with me. He was talking me through the product, talking me through the brand, detailing, you know, a bit about their history because they, they started out originally as kind of um, uh, saddlers and shoemakers and they supplied leather exclusively to the likes of Ferrari, Bentley, Jaguar, Aston Martin. So whenever, you know, those premium product cars were being put together and the manufacturers wanted the finest leather, they would go to Connolly and they would supply the leather for the interiors of these amazing looking cars. You know, so everything from the DB5, so we've got a bond connection right there, all the way through, they supplied leather. And they also do clothing. So. Ivan was great. He was explaining to me that they're, you know, whilst they're, they're a brand that you may not have heard of, it's always their desire to produce and be an authentic brand. You know, it's exclusive in, in a sense of, I suppose, it's word of mouth that you learn about them. Um, and it was, as I say, from watching a few other vlogs that I heard about them, looked at their website. They've got a lot of very nice looking uh, items on there and garments. I was obviously Bond Connection. Bond fan, um, interested in checking this out. So I ended up trying on the jacket. Um, Ivan, Ivan was great in, you know, sizing me up, me measuring me, making sure, and then explaining how it should be fitting, how it should feel, and everything like that. So it was a very personal service, very one-to-one, -one, um, and uh, good to get that kind of insight, because it's fine if you go into a store and you're trying on 
what you could call a premium or a, a, a kind of a, a luxury brand, trying it on and you can see yourself in the mirror and you think, okay, well, that looks like it fits right. And then you have the insight of someone who knows that little bit more to say, how's it feeling on the shoulders? Let's measure. And, you know, measured me up, measured my chest, the shoulders, width and everything to see how the jacket was fitting and, you know, recommended the size that I ended up going for, which is a size small for me. Um, and so, yeah, I ended up buying the jacket. And uh, without further ado, I realise it's been about five minutes of me talking now. I'll open this up and give you a view of what is inside as well. So as you can see, you get this lovely um, branded uh, logoed Connolly uh, bag. I'll just turn this around. You've got Connolly on the back here. Um, and then they kind of, you know, they put the bag together. You do the painful part, you pay for your items, and then they kind of seal it up with these tags on the top. So I'll just cut through these and open up the bag. Gently, there we go, making sure I'm not damaging anything inside. So I'll lay this flat. And what I'll take out first is this, which you will see is basically it's like um, like if you're traveling, you know, you'd put your, your jacket in here, zip it up, keep it safe, protect it, you know, as you're traveling around. It's very nice. Gubino, Gubino, I hope I'm saying that right. Gubino on the front there, Connolly. Um, so that's nice to have. Um, so it means if you are traveling, you know, as I say, if, it's, uh, if, if you're traveling and you're not going to be wearing the jacket in between destinations, you can make sure it's protected and carried safely. So that's very nice indeed. And it's nice that it's branded and it's got the name of the jacket on there and bits and pieces like that. So then without further ado, again, the second item we have in here is the jacket itself, which I'll take out and put the bag on the floor. So presented as you would expect um, in some nice tissue paper which we'll open up very gently both sides and as I say I'll put the link to uh, Connolly's website in the description below it's well worth going on having a look at uh, their lineup and what kind of things that they do um, as I say the customer service in person was great I imagine that would be equaled online as well and then here we have the first look at this jacket in the flesh as it were um, so here we have you can kind of get an idea of the color in there that blue it's almost looks a bit of a denim feel to it but it's or a denim look to it it looks like denim um, but it isn't as I say it's 59% linen 41% cotton. Um, it's very nice. The buttons at the front here have Connolly around the side, so that's branded. Um, a very simple tag on the inside there. You've just got Connolly on the inside. There's no size information that you could take from that, but um, very, very simple. What I'll do is I'll open this up so you can get a proper look at the jacket. So as I say, this is a they went for a 50s style bomber jacket look to it um, and it does it does meet that criteria once you're actually wearing it um, I can say um, it's got some great pockets at the front I'll hold this around so you can see you've got some very large pockets at the front here which um, you'll be able to carry your wallet or your phone in etc whatever you're carrying and also these drawstrings down at the bottom now this is so that you can kind of almost taper in the bottom uh, around the waistline it tapers in slightly when you pull on those cords um, and that kind of brings it into a bit more of a bomber jacket look I think um, it's fair to say um, but it's a lovely lovely looking jacket it's super comfortable I mean it really took me by surprise just how lightweight it is when you're wearing it it's definitely I think a summer jacket something for for slightly warmer weather than we're perhaps heading into now um, but you know you you wear this as you want and you make up your look around this fairly easily I think I think as Evan was saying to me you know it's 
it's very interchangeable. You can wear this with, you know, have a white shirt underneath and you have this loose over the top. You don't even have to do up all the buttons, you know, have the top, top couple of buttons undone. It gives you a completely different look and a feel. Um, it's very comfortable down the arms as well than the sleeves um, on here. I would say um, one thing I noticed when I, when I tried this on in the store with a van and uh, he was explaining it through to me in terms of the, the width on the shoulders and how it should feel as it kind of goes down the arm, it does, it's, it is um, perhaps looser at the, at the cuff or a bit baggier, there's more material than I'm used to. And, but it surprised me because it is, as I say, super comfortable but it works, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. You know, he, Ivan said we can, you know, of course you can tailor this in a bit, so you could have a bit of a, you know, smaller cuff and it tapers down the arm a bit more, but then it would alter the style and the look of the jacket. So there, you know, there may not be a need to do that. So I took his advice and it was great advice because as I, as I was wearing it in the store and I was just, you know, trying it on for about 10 minutes or so, you kind of think, yes, if this was tapered in, it would change the look of the jacket, it would change the feel. So it's as standard from the store, size small for me. It's fantastic looking. Um, it's very interchangeable, you know, white shirt or a polo shirt underneath, or even a plain t-shirt. You know, white plain t-shirt underneath this jacket would look fine. Um, so I'm looking forward to some warmer weather to wear this, but I'm gonna wear it in the meantime, maybe with a nice, um, sweatshirt underneath, perhaps a, a kind of a cashmere uh, jumper underneath, you know, something nice and thin and light but warm at the same time with this over the top I think will look really nice with a pair of chinos, whether you've kind of got the classic beige chinos or the grey chinos, um, which I think is a similar look to what uh, the, the set photos show in terms of Daniel Craig in Italy when they're filming the scenes with this jacket. So. That's, that's it really, I, I, as I say, check out their website, have a look at their brand. Um, I'm incredibly happy with this jacket, I'm going to look forward to wearing this a lot um, throughout next year and even over the winter as I say, with a, a light jumper underneath, I think it will be great. Um, but yeah, hope you've enjoyed this video, if you have please give us a thumbs up, a like, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you get a notification when I post something new. I do have some ideas for some videos coming out uh, in the not too distant future where I'm kind of going, going to do a few follow-ups to some things. Um, but yeah, hope you stay safe, keep well, healthy, you and your loved ones, and I'll talk to you all very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.